Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So the temperatures are really dropping now and I want to keep my greenhouse as warm as possible throughout winter. So it's time to fire up my hotbed again. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to harvest the compost that's in here, try and save these plants that are in here. And I'll show you how I'm going to set up the hotbed again. But I'm going to make some changes this year. I'm going to set the bed up again this year, but I'm going to set it up in a way that's going to allow me to store the heat in a passive way in a storage battery. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So that was hard work. I mean, taking the front of the pallet off because of the way the bag is, it swelled out and it squashed the front of the back pallet and it stopped. You know, it wouldn't allow us just to remove it like we wanted to. So that's been a bit of a problem. And the bottom part of the pallet snapped off. So um, we're gonna have to take that into consideration when we set this up again. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna start digging these plants out and I'm gonna pot, the pot these up and try and see if we can keep them alive as long as possible. So I'm gonna start off by taking out some of these chili plants. And this is not a particularly big one. So I'll put that into that smaller pot, watch out. So let's lift this one out. I'm gonna put this, put some compost into the bottom of it. I'm gonna put this whole plant into here. I know the roots have had, have had a bit of a trauma from me shifting them, but let's see how long we can keep them. If they start to wilt, then what we'll do is we'll trim them back. But as long as they're not wilting, I'm going to keep them going as, for as long as possible. Get rid of those leaves at the bottom. There we go. That's okay. That's okay. I'm going to just do this with all of these plants. Just dig them all out. Use the compost that we've already got in from this hotbed. And keep them going for as long as possible. So a bit of compost into there. From here. Just lift the whole thing out and in you go. We'll prop that up there. That'll be fine. Actually, with this one, there's no chilies on it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this one back. I'm going to take those big branches off. And I'll cut it to cut it to there, cut that one back, cut that one back and take those leaves off and that's it. We'll pop it back on top of the hotbed once we've got the hotbed fired up and getting heating so we don't need that cane in there. So I'm going to get this chilli plant from the back here. This one's a big one. There we go. Oh. He's tied into all sorts of things. He's got a big, a bit of a tangle on here. Oh no, this is an aubergine. <laughs> so let's hold on to him. Let's hold on to him for a second. And let's park him for a second. Let's let the aubergine out. We are going to try and overwinter these aubergines as well. So. We'll just hold on, hold on to them for a sec. But we'll go for that big chili at the back here. There we go. Oh, pop him into there. He's got a big tangle on up there. Look at the size of him. Absolutely beautiful plant. I'm just going to use the compost that he was growing in to pack him in. We'll give him some canes to support. There we go. 
Oops. There we go. So that's my monster chili plant. The reason that I'm not um, trimming them back is because I want to try and harvest these chilies. I want I want to try and get them to mature for as long. You know, I want to try and push it for as long as I can so they mature properly and ripen on the tree. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, that's why I'm just doing this. And once I get the hotbed heating up, I'll put the bucket on top of the hotbed and keep it warm that way. So let's get this out of the way, and I'll get rid of get out get the other plants out as well. So now that I've got all the plants out, it's time for me to start harvesting this compost. And this is absolutely beautiful. It's broken down really nicely. I mean, there's the odd lumpy bit in here from the wood chips that I added initially. So what I'm not going to bother doing right now is I'm not going to sift it. I'm just going to harvest it and store it. It's broken down so nice. I'm really impressed with the way this is broken down. So let's harvest this and see how much compost that we can manage to harvest. I mean, it's, it's, if you look at the size of it, it's probably about, <clears throat> it's probably about two thirds of a builder's bag full. So, um, I'm going to pick all this out. I'm not going to bore you with you, with the footage of me f pulling it all out, but I'll show you once I've pulled it all out and then what I'm going to do. <sighs> It's still coming, it's still coming. So, so far I've harvested two dustbins, uh, a 30 litre pot, so another 30 litre pot there filled up. Uh, and I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this compost right now. So because this is really good quality compost, I'm trying to store as much as I can inside the greenhouse where I've got empty space. Um, so it doesn't, get, it doesn't get waterlogged and I can plant, pot my plants up and stuff like that. But I'm running out of space, so I've got I've got a few I've got a couple of bins full there. This wheelbarrow full, and I'm filling these wheelbarrows up, and I'm gonna probably go and store it with my other homemade compost. It's gonna be hard. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go and store it with my other homemade compost, so I can use this as I need it to pot my plants up and stuff. I mean, it's really good quality compost. I'm really happy with this. So we've made a lot of compost in a really passive way. Um, we managed to heat our greenhouse. We managed to grow our plants in it, and we're going to be able to grow more plants this season. So I'm going to carry on peeling, pulling all this out, and I'll show you how much I've got left, how much I've got when I've done. So now that we've got the bag uncovered, you can see the maze of rat burrows underneath my compost pile. Very recently, uh, we've had a lot of rats moving to the greenhouse. I've had a lot of my seeds and stuff eaten. Um, and you can see the stash of bread that they put in. I mean, there wasn't any burrows in my compost pile itself, but this is all the burrows underneath um, the, where the compost pile was. So, I'm going to get rid of all this bread. <coughs> and this is going in the bin. It's not going in my compost pile or anything like that. I don't know where it's been. And with these rats, you don't know if there's any poison or anything in there, you know, from that people have poisoned them. So all of this is going straight into the bin. There's cloths. All, so they use these cloths for insulation. Uh, absolutely disgusting. Oh, there's all kinds of burgers in here and everything. That's a burger bread. <laughs> what I'm going to do with this rat burrow now is I'm going to put some bait down and I'm going to leave it uh, for overnight. It's getting a bit dark, so I'm going to call it in a day today, and keep an eye out for part two of this video where we set up the hotbed I am going to make quite a few changes to the way I did it last year I mean the bag worked a little bit this year but I don't like the way the bag uh, lost its shape once we lost the structure you know, as the compost settled and lost size and lost volume so I'm going to change that I'm going to put in a better heating system for it as well so um, we'll call it a day here and keep an eye out for part two where I do the update of this. 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.